So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at another JavaScript coding challenge on the Edibit platform. And this is another simple challenge, but it's an interesting one because it doesn't actually tell you how to solve it. So uh, we've been given a challenge here to create a power calculator function uh, that takes two arguments, the voltage and the current, and then returns the calculated power. Now, unless you understand how this works, how this formula works, you don't really have any further instructions uh, on how to complete the challenge. So at the moment, we've just got an empty function with the two arguments, but how do we add them together? How do we multiply them? Uh, what, what's the actual formula that we need to use? Well, there's a couple of things that we can do here, and this is true for any other challenge that you get presented in the real world as well, if you don't understand how to actually uh, solve the problem at, at hand, that the task that you need to do. Uh, we can look at the examples that they've given us here, and it should be pretty obvious just looking at these uh, first couple here, that uh, we take the, uh, the first argument, the voltage, and then multiply it by the current and that gives us the result here and that's the same here for the other two uh, examples they've given us and in the code section if we actually uh, just run the function without any code inside uh, the tests will run and you can see here it doesn't actually give us the arguments but it's this is the same uh, examples that before um, but it's sometimes with these kind of things uh, the challenges will tell you what the test was that they actually ran uh, and uh, what the arguments were provided and, and what the expected output was unfortunately on the edbit platform it doesn't show us that um, but the other thing as well uh, is uh, with the uh, challenge they didn't give us specific instructions on the formula um, but they did provide us with a resources section and there's some information on how to uh, use arithmetic operators in JavaScript, uh, but also there's a link to this uh, electronics tutorial, um, which gives us the formula here again. And so just to confirm, we can see that the, uh, the calculation to get the power is uh, the voltage times the current. So that's pretty much all we need to do for our function. And if we go back here and just say, uh, we're going to return the voltage, uh, oops, the voltage argument that's been passed in, multiply by the current and if we run the tests again that should now give us uh, some passes uh, for those particular examples that they gave us and just as a tidy up exercise we could convert this to an arrow function as well so create a variable called circuit power uh, which is equal to the arrow function and this time we'll use the implicit return here so just get rid of the return statement and like those curly braces I could just pop that down onto the next line just so we can see it all on the page uh, but we need to leave the parentheses here for the arrow function uh, because we've got more than one argument so we could remove those if there was just one uh, but we need to keep them if there's more than one argument there uh, so let's just submit the final version of that just to check we haven't made any mistakes and hopefully when the tests run we can see that we've actually passed the test and now completed it. So there you go there's another simple JavaScript coding exercise on the Edibit platform it was a simple one again but it shows how you might not get the complete picture you might not give them all the information about a particular problem and it's up to you to do a bit of research to confirm uh, how a particular problem and a function uh, should be solved which might need a little bit of googling or searching just to find out uh, what the correct formula might be if it's a mathematical function or how to approach a particular problem so that's it for today's tutorial make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips